Hello friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Well, those of you who don't know me, my name is uh, Maria Goretti. Sanyu is my surname. And I am a Komodi missionary, just like you're seeing behind me. There's a, a photo of Saint Daniel Komboni, the photo of Saint Daniel Komboni. And I am a Komodi missionary sister. So, where am I? I am in a country called Ecuador. Where is Ecuador located? Ecuador is located in America, but in the South America. Here is where I am. I have two years of religious life. I professed in 2019, and uh, I've been here in Ecuador for in in Ecuador for two good years. Two good years. Uh, well, it may it might be a, a little bit less because I stayed in different part uh, parts of the uh, of the the world, but uh, I've been here. I think uh, this is almost almost two years. In in um, in Feb, I'll be two years here in Ecuador, and I have been. La I, yeah, it has been some time that I was learn I, I learned Spanish, and now I am in a place called San Lorenzo. San Lorenzo is just next to Colombia, but it's Ecuador. It's just like in near. It's a. It's, it's like the 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 borders, the border of uh, Ecuador of Ecuador and Colombia. Here is where I am. So what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Well, I have many things that I have, I am trying to get involved in, and this is what I'll be sharing, sharing with you, if you accept me too. There are different, different uh, activities, just like I'm saying. Activity number one, I work with the children. You can call them PMC, children who are missionaries. What does it mean? What do I teach them? I teach them to be missionaries. The children, the young children, starting from the age of uh, three and above until twelve, I teach them how to how they can be a mission, uh, missionaries. How they can be missionaries, even when they are in their country, with their with with the, these children they stay with. How can they be missionaries with fellow children? This is what I do. And another thing that I do is uh, I work with the women. The women who are black. <laughs> it, sounds very, it sounds very awkward, but I mean, I'm working with the I don't know if some of you know the history of uh, some of the history that there are Africans who were brought as slaves to uh, to America. Uh -huh. That is it. Here I work with those women. I work with those women. Not directly. It's, it's not like they were brought as slaves, but their ancestors were brought as slaves here, and so. They are they, here. They call them Afro Afro uh, the women. I don't know. I don't know. How I can tell you for you to understand. But you can say you can call them women of the African descendant. I work with them. Well, here they are not all, they are not only women who are of the African descendant. They are the where I am is a place where. They are black people, just like me. Some of them are black. They're all, 
the old black well at the it's less like in uganda when, when you come here you it seems that you're like you're in uganda but you are in ecuador and you are working with them so what do i do with those women i do very many things with the women educating them about the african uh, african culture and the different cultures in africa uh, about uh, different things in uh, of, the, uh, of africa and how they can can they keep their culture in ecuador but the culture the african culture how can they keep their african culture but also there are also other practical things i do with them for example i'm going to show you some of the uh, practical things i do with them before i show you i would like to say that uh, i think i will make different videos of uh, different activities that i do i think it would be better because uh, if i'm to uh, speak about all of them i will not finish so i will start with uh, today i will show you a bit of the things i do with the women then another day when i have a chance i think i'll share with you other activities like uh, i said i work with the children i work with the women uh, i work